Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for yet another speed build. Today I am furnishing the inside of the base game shell that I posted on Monday and I'm super excited to share this build with you. Although this interior is not base game, I do apologize for that, but it's a big house and I will be totally honest, I was having the time of my life building this. I was in my era. I, I peaked with this house. If you don't like it, Maybe don't tell me because I might cry. I spent probably 10 hours on building this. I had to cut the footage down a lot. So you'll notice that the speed build itself might be a little choppy. But that's because I went through very meticulously and cut out like me sifting through the catalog for clutter items. Or like at one point in one of the bedrooms, I spent like 10 minutes trying to pick a rug just to end up not putting one in there so my bad but like I cut a lot of that out I cut the bathrooms out I cut the porches slash balconies out which is a little unfortunate because there are little skill building or there's a lot of skill building items on those areas but the video at first when I before I raw and uncut it and I just sped it up it was like 56 minutes and there is no way you guys want to watch a 56 minute speed build, nor do I want to talk to myself for 56 minutes because I'm really not that interesting, at least probably not to most of you. But I feel like I did a really good job taking advantage of all the clutter items we have in the game. I used a ton of high school or of the high school pack of paranormal stuff pack. And I want to say dream home decorator question mark which everyone knows those are like the best three build packs in my personal opinion but i think so but this is a huge multi-generational family home i want to say it's five bedrooms and four bathrooms i think on the downstairs as you can see what we're doing right now this is the living room and I tried to make it a little bit more closed off than I normally would because in real life, everyone obviously loves open floor plans. Hashtag, I am an ultimate interior designer. House hunters, call me if you need me. I would be on that show in a heartbeat. But I went with a little bit more closed off of a floor plan because I feel like for building in The Sims, it just looks way better. So there is a formal living room, which we just finished furnishing. And then this is the kitchen. It's pretty big. It's a little closed off, so I don't think you would realize how big it is but there's like a lot of counter spaces i even put a microwave and i never put microwaves in my homes because i don't like how big and clunky they are and i'm gonna make a video about this in a couple weeks possibly about things i would love to see in the sims and i know everyone's always like where well, where are the cars i want cars no i don't i don't need cars what i need is an over the stove microwave like we have in real life because i'm sick of these big clunky things sitting on my counters so i can never use them but this, in my opinion, is like a dream kitchen. It's like very contemporary. I think that's what you would call it. Um, and I just like bright and white and light things. Growing up, my house was like very dark wood and like kind of masculine, in my opinion. Like if you notice the things I really enjoy building nowadays, they're very light and airy and pink. I've really been obsessed with pink lately. I don't know what that's about. But I'm not sorry about it, and I will continue to build more pink things. I actually built this house before my pink era started. I built this house, I want to say, right before finals week. I was really stressed about finals for fall, and instead of studying, I obviously decided to devote all my time to building this big sim house. But I had my mini series going on my channel, and I just didn't have time to post it or edit it because I knew it was going to be a massive voiceover and a massive editing job. But I am so happy with how it came out. So if you like it, please comment down below what your favorite room is. But anyway, back to the build. I'm really trying to stay on top of this build. As you can see, I'm just cluttering up the counters. I did cut some of that out because who wants to watch me meticulously move around the paper tower holder for 10 minutes? Probably not I, so probably not you either. But don't worry, you can see a lot more of the clutter and like the details I put into the home in the screenshots that will be at the end of the video. And as always, you could just download it off the gallery and see for yourself how beautiful, in my opinion, it is. Unfortunately, I used a lot of packs because like I said, I did go a little wild, but I'm not necessarily upset because I think it's beautiful. 
Um, but I did put the base game shell up there. So if you want to go and play with that, please feel free to like tag me on Instagram or something so I can see it because that would make me so happy to see someone playing in my house because I want to play like when I'm ready to like have my save and play by myself. I love having a cute house and I love decorating the inside of my Sims houses and coming up with like stories and stuff. But I absolutely freaking hate doing like landscaping or picking exterior color schemes like the paint and the stone and stuff but I feel like my houses don't look complete without it so to me I just built something I knew I would want I did my least favorite parts of building for you guys so I took one for the team I hope you appreciate that but look at this beautiful office I'm building I had a storyline in mind when I was building this house but I won't lie I simply cannot remember what it is at this point because I built this thing so long ago but I know that there's this big, beautiful office and there are some big, beautiful bookshelves and like a cute little reading nook that you'll see here in a second that I end up building. And there's even a fake fireplace that I'm obsessed with. It's one of my favorite little hacks in the game. You'll see it here in just a little bit. But this is my dream office. If I could have a layer, that's what I would call it. It would be my layer where I just went and I filmed my content and I worked on my novel and I just I would never come out. Like, if I had one of these rooms in my house, I simply wouldn't be allowed to have children or pets or a partner because I would never leave the comfort of my lair. I would do all of my world-dominating plans in that lair. And look at this cute burgundy chair. Ugh. Paranormal stuff pack and a high school years pack are so freaking good. So, so good. And I didn't even realize we had that tiny little speaker. And I want to say I used it like four times in this build. Don't hate me, but... If you're here watching my beautiful build, I don't think you do. Shout out to you one time. Anyway, so it has an office and on the bottom floor, there's a formal living, a formal dining, an office, a mudroom slash hallway, which I did cut out because it really was just like a photo and like some plant, like just like filler stuff for the hallway. Um, and I want to say oh no never mind there's not a bathroom but there is a grandparent suite because I wanted this to be a big multi-generational home I've been playing my own like personal legacy family and I did a current household update a few weeks ago that you can check out as well if you want to see how I'm playing but that's kind of who inspired this and then upstairs there are four bedrooms and the rest of the bathrooms so it's a really really big house and there's lots of skills to be built in this place here is my little fireplace thing. I was, I think I'm remembering the backstory, but I wanted one of the parents of this house or maybe one of the grandparents and it's like, the, this is their home to be like this uber successful, maybe a writer or painter or a lawyer. I don't know. I may, I'm thinking maybe law with that weird way scale gold thingy, but I just thought they were like an academic. They were very smart. Oh, here are those, oh, those little candles. I like to um, all place them and put them at the bottom because it's very like, boho -y chic i remember there was this youtuber i used to watch when i was younger and she moved into this apartment and the fireplace didn't work and that's what she did with a bunch of candles and i've obviously been obsessed with it since i was young and decided to put that obsession in the sims like i do with most of my obsessions anyway now we are on to the dining room i put a big freaking dining table in here so they can host marvelous dinner parties with all their bougie you know uber rich academia friends who come over and they talk about podcasts and i don't know current events the financial woes of global economy i don't know i just kind of went for what i had um but i want to say i put like a little bar and um a china cabinet like very traditional kind of family style home i think this house really does have it all though so i would like to think that this is the the family that hosts like major holiday get-togethers with co-workers and family friends like this is the kind of place where say Christmas Eve or something you like look nice like you have matching dresses and like all their kids have matching sweaters and like those fancy dresses you can get at Macy's for your kids and Christmas cards and stuff like at my house for the holidays we're very like casual like a nice top and some jeans like nothing that crazy fancy but not at this place everyone is wearing heels indoors on a holiday with people they are related to it is bougie bougie like i imagine the grandmother who lives in this house has like a brooch collection 
my grandmother had a friend um her name was inez really eccentric lady who had a brooch collection and she used to give me brooches when i was a really little girl and i'd spend time at my nana's house which is a really odd gift to give like a five-year-old and i still have them in a box somewhere but i can promise you i have never worn those a single day in my life i maybe put them on like my baby dolls when i was a kid but even as a child, I knew I was just smiling and nodding and accepting this random brooch gift, this bedazzled hot mess jewelry with a sharp pointy object that you're handing to a child. I knew it was weird. You know how weird something has to be for a small child to really understand and comprehend that it's weird? So shout out to Inez one time because, you know, my queen was gifting me jewelry I'd never wear, but I still appreciate the gifts. Comment down below the weirdest gift you have ever gotten from someone who probably shouldn't be giving you gifts. Like, it w it'd be one thing if it was my grandma, you know what I mean? Like, ah, ha, 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 I have a crazy grandma. But, like, it was just, like, some random lady my grandma did crafts with sometimes. I didn't really know this woman. She didn't really know me. She was real bizarre. Real, real bizarre. And even my grandmother knew that. Anyway, the, I cut out a lot of the grandparents' bedroom because I really didn't know what I wanted to look, or wanted it to look like, and I felt like it was really sort of generic looking but they have a nice ensuite that i also cut out i'm so sorry i keep saying that but the video was literally almost an hour before i cut it down and after i had sped it up so some things didn't make the cut you know what i'm saying and that's just how it has to be from time to time anyway i had my very very first class today went super good i'm very excited so please let me know how your classes are going how is school if it's going bad, I hope it gets better. If it's going great, I hope it continues. I am feeling indifferent about school, but I'm excited to get back into my routine. I do really well with my routine, and I've been waking up super early. I don't think I've gotten up past 8 a.m. in like a month, and I, some of you are like, oh my god, like that's not that early, but like some of those days I got up at like 5 30, and some of them I got up at like 8 15, but I rounded down because I need an average. You know what I'm saying? So give me a break. I'm, I'm a young growing girl. I need my sleep, okay? I do. Speaking of young growing girl, my best friend is coming into town this weekend. Um, well, my whole group of friends is coming into town to stay with me for like the very first time pretty much because they came for my birthday and then they left early. Um, poo them. But anyway, so they're coming to stay with me. And I'm really excited. And we're celebrating my friend Lexi's 21st birthday. And I am the party planner, so I'm going to tell you guys all the secrets because none of my friends know what we're doing yet. Because who doesn't love a surprise? And that's not actually why I'm doing it as a surprise. Lexi, aka the birthday girl, actually knows what we're doing for the most part because Lexi's really go with the flow and super chill. But my other friends, they are chill unless they have too much time to think about it. And then they start to like get in their head about what they do and don't like. So I didn't tell them. I just told them we we're doing an activity and they were a little bit peeved off at me about not telling them. But I do think it was the best decision because I actually planned something really fun. So Saturday morning when we wake up, we are going to do um, a waffle pancake bar. And I got like fruit and um, whipped cream and toppings and chocolate chips and stuff. So everyone can like build their own delicious waffle yumminess. There's another fireplace in this house. There are three fireplaces in this house, by the way. That's crazy. Um, so we're going to get up. We're going to do our waffle bar with our fruit. And we are going to... Here's the big secret. We're going to an alpaca farm. Yes, the alpaca farm from my birthday. Um, I made a speed build a couple weeks ago right after my birthday when I talked about going to the alpaca farm, which was the best freaking day of my life and will continue to be the best day of my life until something tops it. I'm serious. I might get married one day and the alpaca farm still might be better, but I'm taking them to do that. And there's like eight of us going. So I'm pretty excited because when I went the first time, it was a really small group. There were like six people total and I was only with one other person. So for eight of my friends to go, I think it'll be really fun. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to have snacks. I am making caprese and a charcuterie board. And I got some hummus and dip and cheese and queso and um, guac. Then we're going to a tapa bar that just opened by my house that looks really delicious. It's very trendy cute. Like, it's the kind of place the girlies got to go to take the cute Instagram pictures for dinner. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then after, we're either going to go line dancing 
or we're going to this train restaurant bar thing that gives away free shots every time the train goes by but that's up to lexi to decide but it's a secret so like don't tell anyone quite yet if you don't mind thank you very much what do you guys like to do for your friends birthdays because i literally was stumped maybe that's because my collective group of friends were all kind of different in our interests and making everyone happy can be a challenge (laughs) Um, especially when you've got as many opinions going on in your friend group as mine. But I do think it'll be a really fun weekend. I'm excited for the girls to come up here because they never come to Orlando. I always go to see them. So I think it'll be really fun. This is my all-time favorite teenage girl bedroom I've ever made in my life. I told you guys I was on a pink kick, but this bed has some of the best swatches for like a teen bed ever. It's from the high school years expansion pack freaking obsessed and then over here on the left side because i wanted to be different and i was like really peeking at building i made like a mini kind of vanity um and i just sized down that desk from dream home decorator and i put like a little poof under it as the chair and then topped it with like you know hair stuff and um i think i put some nail polish and a couple other clutter items i did try to put a mirror on there but i cut it out because it just wasn't working and i fiddled with it for like 45 minutes and like i said nobody wants to watch me do that just to have it not work so i did cut that part out um but in my head this girl was like you're it fashionista girl like for those of you who watch euphoria um i hope you're old enough because i don't even know if i'm old enough to be honest but the scene where cassie is like trying to impress nate and she like gets up at four o'clock in the morning and does her routine and she's like got her ice rollers and her face masks and she's exfoliating literally everything that's in my head what this girl does like she gets up at the crack of dawn and just lives her freaking best life that was the little mirror part that i cut out sorry guys um but that's who this girl is like she is the star of her own life it's her her world we're just living in it and you know i kind of respect that because if your bedroom is this bougie and this cute i think you kind of get that like it, it goes hand in hand you know what i mean but it's one of my favorite rooms. Honestly, all three of the kids' rooms I put a lot of thought into. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to pick. But I, I, all three of them are going in the history books as the top three favorite rooms I've built. Because I feel like I build a lot of the same rooms. Because I build a lot. And I play a lot. And I have the things that are my favorite. And I have the things that I never freaking use. So it can be a bit hard for me. But anyway back to more about the build um the build as a whole because i did cut out the porches like i said there are so many skills in this house um there is video game consoles there are speakers there's an easel there's multiple computers there is a chess table there's gardening supplies there is a grill um there's an entire gym in like the fake garage that i made on the side of the house that you will see at the end of the video and if you want to see me actually build it it's in the first part of the video as well there's a basketball hoop um i think there's a cheer mat uh i want to say i put one of those bonsai tree bushes that you can like get the flower arranging skill on there's a flower arranging table there's um gardening pot there's just so much stuff so your sim will be very well rounded if they live in this house this is another bedroom i had in mind i'm not sure for whom it belongs to but i thought maybe they were like super into streaming and gaming basically i just every single one of the bedrooms that i built in this home are inspired by one of my multiple personalities this is the version of me that likes to stream and play the sims and lock myself in my office until my heart's content and just play and play and play and then the other one is my bougie girly side that is obsessed with pink that's really coming to surface lately if you can't tell i just recently uploaded this really cute base game only starter home that's like complete with a whole pink garden that i filled with debug stuff really cute i will link that video at the end if you want to go watch it and then the other child's bedroom we are about to get to right now i built the entire thing around that one wall hanging because i thought it was so cute again high school years for the wind in terms of build items everything they have in there is just so freaking cute i can't get over it this room is really kind of small but i feel like i did well with the space like i put a lot of clutter items there's some really cute shelves you'll see here in a minute 
and it's a little generic because they're a child they don't really know what they're into yet or who they are per se so they're still figuring it out obviously they have an affixation with arts and crafts because i put a lot of arts and crafts type things but i remember at the beginning of building this i was definitely going for like outdoors i don't really know if that translated but i would have been happy with this room if i was nine to twelve you know and that mint color on that bed i was the one who made the mistake of painting their room that color when i was like six when my mom was like you can paint your own you you know the room your own color blah 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 yeah and then i live with that for the next like nine to ten years of my life and it got old it got old real real quick you know what i'm saying um shout out to all my girls who went with like a hot pink or like a hot aqua electric aqua color in their room because that's that's what the bad bitches do i know i am one here we are moving to the gym in the last couple minutes of this video this i really just threw the gym equipment in um oh and i i also realized i didn't paint any of the walls in the video and i was gonna leave that part in the video but it was so jumpy because i didn't really know what i wanted and i changed my mind so many times it was literally hard to watch you're gonna get whiplash if you would have seen that footage so i went ahead and cut it off or cut it out but you can obviously see the paint colors when you download it it is fully painted and floored and everything and there's bathrooms and stuff and i also um made sure to like complete the little things and there's terrain paint as well that i did after but it kept erasing i did the terrain paint on this house like six times and it kept deleting because that glitch but anyways we are coming to the end of my video so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye everybody